you know, as we look at our topic for this weekend, providence, I think it's important that we that we define the term. And uh, this is something that, um, for me, has been um, even more meaningful uh, as of late. Uh, I was able to be here shortly after going through all of you know my recent escapades and heart failure and heart surgery and um, all of these other things. And as I've told some of you, you know, when when we got to the Mayo Clinic in, in Jacksonville, Florida, um, they didn't, of course, didn't tell me this at the time, but um, after we got into all of this and began to be treated, um, my main cardiologist uh, made it clear that we got there within an hour or two of my death. And our normal response to that is, well, that was providential. Now, it was, but not in the way that we usually mean it. You see, for most Christians, we think you got there within a couple hours of death, you didn't die, therefore that was providential. But if I would have died, unless you understand that that would have been providential as well, you don't understand providence. You see, for most of us, we use the word providence as a substitute for luck. That was providential. We mean, it could have been bad, but it ended up being good. Therefore, it was providential. That is not what providence means. So this is an amazing clip that I found of a, a recent sermon that Vody preached in which he talked about his recent health scare. Now, I want to take this 11 minute clip and I want to break it down into three different parts, three or four different parts. Now, this first part, I want to deal with what Odie just talked about, Providence. And I was really grateful for this because this is this is kind of a rebuke to all of us. And we kind of take the the, the definition of Providence out of context in, in, in regards to uh, the Lord's decree and his will. I want to look up, I looked up just a general definition of providence on Google. And on the first page, I want to read to you guys what I found. It says, okay, what is an example of providence? Providence is the guardianship and care provided by a deity or God. Religious people thank their God for his providence. For religious people, any good thing that happens to them, like landing a new job, getting healthy, or finding money on the ground, could be considered an example of providence. Now, this is exactly what Vody was talking about. Okay, in regards to the way we see providence or the Lord's providence, landing a new job, getting healthy, in Vody's case, getting healthy. That's what we expected from God's providence. But like Vody just said, had he died, that as well would have been God's providence. Okay, uh, our definition of providence tends to always land on what we expect, okay, from God, not what God's will is. So we thank the Lord that in his mercy, he's given Vody more time. But had God, had Vody died, had he passed away, that would have been the Lord's providence. That would have been his will and it would have been right on time. Okay. It wouldn't have been a loss and it wouldn't have been a bad thing. Okay. Uh, you know, it would have been sad for his family and for those of us or those who actually know him and are close to him, but it would not have been out of God's will and it would not have been a bad thing. So, that's what I wanted to touch with. This is the first point I want to talk about. I'm going to make two or three different parts of this uh, this 11-minute clip. This is some good material here, so I can't wait to get into it. 